Hello, welcome. Here is Patrick again with some new thing, the mystic link and sync. And yes, it's all about coming out of the box, coming into peace and unleashing this mystic link and sync in order to truly become free and to be truly in peace. Some things trigger us, some things bother us. Sometimes we get reluctant and resentful. And yes, me too. So I've chosen these words very consciously for all their meaning, for all their frequency, and for all their opportunity. And of course, connection to myself. So mystic comes as an adjective, but also, of course, as a noun, we call somebody a mystic. So, of course, what you could call me that suits maybe best, apart from all the other words, would be mystic. The mystic traditionally surrendered and allowed himself to become one and to unify with the divine. Now, the mystic existed for many, uh, many, many, many years, I feel, wherever we go or wherever we go in history. They were always mystics. And the mystics are really here to bring messages, messages from the divine, not predictions, not curses, not good or bad, but simply messages that are allowing us to step forward. And at this very point in history of this earth, of our human journey, it is about stepping beyond being part of the end and stepping into the Aquarian Age. So the mystic is really the one that dares to step beyond the human intellect, beyond the Homo sapien. And it requires us to be really empty. So the more filters we have, the more we are still holding, the more difficult it is actually to be a channel, a conduit, or an instrument, which is what the mystic does. So the adjective is kind of the state of being. Being mystic is being able to surrender, allowing that, daring to look at the things that are really beyond the reason and the matter. And so mystic is important here when we want to step out of the box. When we stay in the mind, we go really crazy. And I have tried that too, although I tend to be more mystic and in the heart, which often goes together. It's not always easy to become empty because there was a lot to clear on the way that was in between being this empty channel. And even now, sometimes there are some interferences. And of course, the other thing, it is not easy to truly step beyond the mind. Homo sapiens, by definition, is men and women of the mind. And shifting into Homo luminous makes it easier to be a mystic. The other two words are equally important. Link, obviously, is all about connection. How do we create a link? And this link works in all directions. So it's not just that we connect to the divine, to source, to pure consciousness, heart consciousness, whatever comes to you, pure love, source. It is also that we create a connection, a link that allows us to receive in that emptiness without filters. As this mystic message is coming through, they are symbolic. So the more we engage the filters of our brain and our mind, the more convoluted and the more difficult it gets to really say what that message means. So it's very important that that link is also very, very clear. It's a bond that we have. And sometimes it's easy to be so empty and sometimes it's not. So. As a mystic, it's not like we're 24 hours on call because that link, that bond, also depends on our life circumstances. So when I'm triggered, I'm not a good mystic because I cannot really 
be that empty channel and fully surrender to these messages that are coming through. And the sync is about allowing it to synchronize. So again, that has to do with that communication. If you wish that is coming through in a symbolic realm that the mind cannot really decipher. We cannot control it, can also not analyze it. It requires a particular level of interpretation and then a way of expressing it through the heart. So I hope that gives you a little idea how I've chosen now the mystic link and sync in order to take us on this journey and promise to get out of the box, to set free from these disturbances and interferences that are in between us and our wholeness and that link to the divine. So I hope that's a little setting scene for today. And I'm really excited to go deeper in this and share more with you from my own experience and what I'm experiencing at this moment, because yes, I have things to release, but also of course to support you on your journey.